I'm I believe just con- for if it's uh, um, like private island questions. I'm going to make the, the concierge better tell everyone to contact Izzy. Ooh, fun. <laughs> So good afternoon, everyone, or whatever it is, wherever you are in the world. Uh, good afternoon, welcome. Ms. Wynn. <laughs> welcome to the Concierge and Land User Group. We're very glad you could make it today. Um, that guy next to me, Izzy, he has something he wants to say. Hey, everybody. I hope you guys have all been having a great week uh, and have wonderful plans for this weekend. I was wondering real quickly, and just shout in the uh, chat room if you don't mind, uh, how many of you have heard of Second Life University, as in the lessons taught by Linden Lab, way, way back in the day? Well, they've started back up again. The first video was actually released a few weeks ago and that's the link to the first video done by strawberry and tomorrow i'm actually going to be teaching a land and group basics class at about noon pacific time so any of you guys that um, have you know renters or friends that are new to second life these may be good videos to uh, hold on to and give out uh, for people that want a more verbal instruction rather than just looking at a knowledge base article and that's kind of uh, the way we're gearing these uh, kind of like a video tutorial, but also kind of like a best practices, tips and tricks kind of a thing. So if you're one of those people that loves to play a video game uh, and then look for the tips and tricks or cheats, no, nobody cheats, um, you know, videos to find out how to get more out of uh, what it is that you're playing or doing, uh, these kinds of videos may be good for you. So I just wanted to kind of let you guys know uh, that tomorrow at noon I'll be doing, and it's live so you know i'll be terrified but that's just fine for me um and they're going to actually take questions uh, while we're doing the live video so um be nice adam uh, i'm looking at you over there so be nice uh and hopefully we'll have a good one yes it's going to be recorded so it'll be uh on the second life youtube channel um so for later on uh for review and you guys hopefully will get something out of it but most of all of you of course are decently experienced but like i said it would be a good resource for you guys to keep uh saved somewhere in case you have renters or friends or anything like that that need assistance okay that was my two cents I'll just add on that that yeah, I'm also probably going to be on that eventually too. She's picking all the good ones. Oh yeah, and Wendy, me. if you're on it, then I'm in really good company. Well, maybe. <laughs> no, I wasn't invited. Me exactly. I am so going to pay for that later. It's true. TJ wasn't invited either, Vix. <laughs> and I'm going to talk about Second Life 19, SL19B, which is coming up. Applications for volunteers and exhibitors are now open for our 19th anniversary birthday event. Um, if you are interested in volunteering, you will want to fill out an application at this link. And for those who want to be an exhibitor, we have a second page. You're going to want to visit here. Finally, if you are a performer, you can sing on stage. Maybe you got a little dance, a little jig. You can fill out the performer application here. Yeah, time is just flying. These birthdays are just flying by, Karen. It feels like yesterday we were talking about SLB 15. 
Hey, Vix, maybe we should make a suggestion that they just give one link for uh, each year. And on that page, it has separate links for volunteer exhibitors, performers, and however many other categories they end up coming up with each year. That's a good suggestion. They'll make you the, uh, the person dude, is he? <laughs> I was gonna say, yeah, probably. We'll probably just uh, run that right by you. <laughs> yeah, guys, just remember any questions on that, just email vix at lindenlab.com and he'll take care of it. That's that's, that's so I, Izzy. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Gang it up on you, Izzy. <laughs> um, the applications close May 8th, so it's right around the corner. Um, you have a little bit of time left. Um, the Shop and Hop applications are also coming up very soon and will be announced on the blog at community.secondlife. And this year's theme is steampunk. So we're excited for that. And um, you can look for the event to run June 16th to July 5th. Really SLD looking forward to it. 19. It's always a good time. Actually, the town in Massachusetts that I used to live in had an annual steampunk festival. Very nice. I'm gonna jump. I'm gonna jump in here now. Um, not gonna let them steal all the thunder. Uh, Linden Homes. Uh, as you may know, Lind uh, Linden Home Continent Belisari has just celebrated its third anniversary. I didn't realize it had been that long, um, and. With that, we've also uh, put out a preview of our next home theme. Uh, it's called Sakura. And it's a bit like the New Brooks and Camper trailers. Uh, there's 512s and 1024 sizes. Um, for those who want to preview it, it's really quite lovely. I really enjoy the, this one. Um, you can check it out at that slurl. Um, I do recommend take a look, walk around, enjoy it. Um, and we hope that everyone really gets a kick out of them. Any questions so far? And we'll be covered. Um, Adam, that would be through our Stella. Uh, it's uh, via contact, um, but you are also welcome to submit a support ticket. Just say what you would like, and um, you know we'll send that up. Uh, we'll get the uh, supervisors aware. Um, yeah, there's some feedback coming through, but we have like a, a feedback system. Um, it's through Stella. Um, so if you happen to speak to someone, you can also leave it there, and uh, we'll make sure uh, the specific Linden is aware of it. Stella is. Uh, oh, go ahead, Wendy. Okay, um, Stella is. Um, w when you uh, put in a support ticket or contact us, um, you'll get a an email from Stella that um, allows you to rate how your service was, uh, give us direct feedback, and also even uh, choose a uh, a prize for us, um, like coffee and whatnot, uh, which we do in fact get those. Um, so. You know, we, we appreciate getting feedback, so please do. Those are the ones. We also accept Stella Artois.
Well, that's very sweet, Karen. Thank you very much. And just for clarification, since we're actually on the topic, a five is absolutely excellent and a one is absolutely horrible. We've had a few people that uh, obviously misread it because in the comments there, this person is so totally amazing. It was so wonderful and they helped me so much. But then they clicked the one instead of the five. Well, that and it just, you know, we don't read. Come on, we click. I'm glad you were able to get in, Adam. I think I saw one or two of your, your tickets. Good for you. And yes, feel free to jump in with any questions or whatnot, even as we're discussing all these issues. Go for it, Miss Selena. And good to see you again. You've become a regular. Well, thanks for letting us know, uh, Ms. Selena. Uh, what we recommend for this is to file an abuse report. Uh, if you haven't yet, uh, go to help on the top and then report abuse and uh, relay what you're seeing. And that way our governance team uh, can take a look. Uh, well, tickets won't send the information to the right uh, channel. Um, yeah. Thank you, Governance 4. Good to see you. And also, if you go ahead and include in those abuse reports any names that you see, if you can get any of the names, that'll really help them. Yes. I also would add that um, not every case where there's individuals doing something like that is going to be abuse specific. Um, they could simply be um i know there's a lot of people that play some of the hud games like tiny empires that will will do that kind of thing and hang out in the waterways um it's disturbing and weird but you know it's not necessarily harming anyone directly so yeah best to let uh 
let governance take a look and make a determination one way or another. Also, in situations where it is a real abuse issue, it may be against somebody that's never done anything before, so they may just get a warning. Uh, so governance relies on you letting them know if the person persists in continuing to do whatever that behavior is that you're reporting uh, to let them know that it's continuing. So if after a day or two they still are doing it, submitting another report to let them know, hey, this person's still doing, then governance can escalate and do something more severe than a warning. There you go. Sounds like governance will give you a hand there. Our governance team is awesome. Just make sure it's not going in via uh, support tickets, Ms. Selena. You want to make sure to use the help uh, report abuse. Hey, Neil, that's a good question. Um, I guess it might almost be like your tolerance, uh, how long you think, um, because we do put a status blog up. Um, we're monitoring it closely. We can also see the progress. Um, but and. Uh, Anything more than if you think 30 minutes, an hour, even though we, we think those are lengthy and you know, we're watching the progress, make sure it's it's going smoothly. But uh, anytime you feel concerned that the region is still down and if you haven't seen any updates on the status blog for that specific rolling restart, um, by all means, go ahead and uh, file a ticket. Use the uh, land and region, region offline request and we'll definitely take a look. I mean, if it's still part of the restart, um, we'll let it continue. Uh, but if maybe uh, that part is finished and it needs a little nudge, uh, we'll do what we can to restore it. Yeah, like an hour, 60 minutes, when you, yeah. And definitely if you've if it's still offline and you've seen the blog resolved, I mean, I know that goes without saying, but since we've oh, yeah, got a definitely. lot of people here. Yeah, once we've resolved the blog, that's pretty much saying this is our, our all clear that everything should be um, hunky dory. But if you see a region that is still down, yeah, definitely let us know. Um, if you're a basic resident, yeah, take it. If you're a premium or concierge, then you have access to the live chat service and hit us up during our uh, support hours. No, Ms. Selena, they take each um, governance uh, report as if it was basically an anonymous report because obviously you don't want the person that it's submitted against to know who submitted it. So they treat them each as an anonymous report uh, and then take action as needed. We can speak on groups. You had a question, Dan?
you can file a ticket in Neo and we'll be happy to take a look. Yeah, by all means, take a look at that. So I'm assuming you mean parcels on the mainland, Nardwi? Right. If so, what you'd want to do is just have both of you set the areas that you each want to swap with each other uh, for sale to each other and then cross purchase. You can set them for sale specifically to the name of the other person. Uh, don't set it for anyone or it's possible somebody else will come and grab it or a bot might grab it uh, and set it for zero Lindens or if you're doing it at a price, that's up to you guys. But it's something that you guys can definitely do because we can't actually swap your parcels because uh, we're not the owner of the parcels. But if you need any uh, hand-holding, if you have trouble uh, doing so or anything like that with it, you can submit a ticket and we can give you step-by-step -step instructions. Yes, if one of you is uh, close to your tier limit, uh, you'll definitely want to be the first one to sell first. If both of you are near your tier limit, then yeah, you might want to do it via group donation. That might be the easiest way. I would actually love to see that picture. So we have a couple updates as far as bugs and viewers concerned. And the first one, if anyone uh, remembers or recalls the friending group invites, how they would fail if uh, both residents were not online at the same time when the invite was being sent. Uh, well, we're happy to report there's been some progress on a resolution for this, and uh, we hope to see it out soon. Uh, some work is uh, ongoing about the online friendship and group invitations. Uh, right now, the beta grid does have some code and testing, uh, so cross your fingers and we can see this one get resolved.
Right. Yeah, that, that was both. Yeah, that'll be that'll be a very nice one to get completed for sure. And we are in the midst of testing the multi-factor authorization for logging into the Second Life Viewer. If you'd like to be part of the uh, beta test for this service, uh, you can try out one of our AMF, excuse me, MFA beta viewers. I'm gonna go ahead and drop the link here. It's another way to secure your account, and uh, once it's um, made available for all, we highly recommend uh, doing what you can to use the available tools to uh, keep all your information secure. Yeah, this is basically the next step after the, we do already have the MFA for the website, um, which you can use today, and this will be the, set, the next step to it, to actually have it for logging into the viewer. That can be a process, Adam. I'm glad you came out on the other side okay. I'm not aware of any, Mary, um, but that is an excellent suggestion. Um, if you've attended our meetings before, we always recommend the uh, Jira bug report, which is also our uh, suggestion portal. Um, if you have not filed the Jira, I can go ahead and send you the link. Um, but that is a uh, very practical and uh, it's an idea that I would definitely like to see in to get looked at. Fix, if you don't mind, I'm just going to chime in here uh, for Mari. Um, definitely sure. the um, uh, submitting these uh, requests uh, that way for a feature or whatever is a good idea. But um, why are you not selling it while it's still in the group? So that way you completely avoid the idea of tearing up by moving it to your personal ownership. And you know, what I suggest in those situations is um, just modifying, you know, who the uh, proceeds uh, are set to um, uh, in the uh, group role uh, situation. But if you've got a bunch of owners, obviously, yeah, that gets a little bit more complicated. Um, I have seen some people that will create another group for uh, when selling and such like that, which obviously can get complicated because then you have to change both of your donations and then change the ownership of the parcel, etc. Um, so there really isn't an easy answer for that, but it's definitely something they can look at your suggestion and see uh, if it's something that we can implement.
And the floor is open for any other questions. Uh, anything you're sitting on, go ahead and let us know. You mean like a straight swap, Neo? Like I'll trade you my parcel for yours. Right. If both of you are up at the top, then um, it would go ahead and do that. Although, again, I'm using voice and I need to do text because Nardwa doesn't have a voice dot. Uh, no news that I haven't seen yet, uh, Adam, but as soon as we have something to share, uh, it'll be on featured news and we'll be talking about it here. I do recall that some discussion has been going on on textures as far as the 2022 roadmap, so who knows, but I don't have anything concrete on that, of course. Yes, we are. Of course, I always am. Enjoy the life. I'm not sure I'm following, Pinter. Are you asking if there was a recent release on you? I think there actually has been some talk on that Pantera, but I really don't know much on it. Um, you know, but I know there has been some discussions on that. I'm just not sure what what specifics are at this point on it. Any other questions, comments, so forth? Please feel free.
That I do not know, Neo. Um, that would be something that uh, the uh, server uh, user group might have more of a handle on. Ember, that's definitely something that you could submit a support ticket on, but um, what about using the res zones and going through the Linden roadways? Make it a decaf, Adam. Hey. <laughs> Friends don't let friends drink decaf. Welcome, Isaac. No, no worries at all. Certainly does, Adam.
Hey, Karen, not that I'm aware. Yeah, we're still using uh, Vivox um, for, I guess, the foreseeable future until we hear something new. I believe a lot of the ones that came over are actually working on our development team. Ember, that might be a possibility, uh, and it's definitely a feature that you could go ahead and submit and request, uh, you know, via the Jiro.SecondLife.com. Um, I can't say that it's not possible because it would just be a separate voice channel uh, kind of a situation, but obviously it would take some engineering uh, to go ahead and say with this group uh, gets X number of voice channels uh, based on the group roles and stuff like that. So it's theoretically possible. I just don't know the amount of use vice the amount of work it would take to go through it. But it definitely would beat the option of having to have three different groups uh, for that kind of uh, control. If submitting a Jira is not as scary as it looks, once you do one or two, you'll pretty much get the hang of it. Uh, the fields are right there. You just put it in and submit, and you're good to go. And worst case scenario, if you miss something that's needed, you know, uh, then somebody that reviews Jira's will say, hey, what did you want to put for this option or whatever? So no problem. And I think that was Evie saying that she's willing to uh, volunteer to assist you if you need any help, Ember. Very nice of her. Absolutely. Yeah, with the feature suggestions, um, you know, 
we are not in a place to, you know, prove or deny, obviously, um, but we can help facilitate the, um, the submission process, you know, make sure that you have the, the right link, if you have any questions on wording, you know, you can run it by us and say, yeah, that, that's pretty comprehensive. We have about 10 minutes left. Um, any other uh, questions, final comments? As far as I know, there's currently no plans to get rid of the old uh, Linden Home 1.0 uh, parcels and everything. There's still definitely uh, plenty of areas that um, are being used. The only thing that I could see, um, and this isn't anything official, um, but if there were regions that didn't have anybody using they might consolidate um, but they don't want to ruin anybody's homes so i don't think there's going to be any you know forced moving or uh pushing people out of them or anything like that um if people like the older style linden homes and are happy with it that's at least for the foreseeable future still an option for them uh, and i have yet to hear anything about that changing Except for we might put a little uh, blipvert style advertisement in all those little uh, uh, Linden homes showing the new and improved ones until you finally th uh, get seduced by the shiny and go get a new one. Just kidding. Yes, pop-up windows now coming to your second life. <laughs> Some people really love them. I know I had a lot of fun with mine. And, uh, you know, I used to decorate it for the different holidays and stuff like that. Now I have to, every once in a while, change to a different theme Linden home because now I want to check them all out. And certainly if it's... Uh... If it's a place you're home, uh, that you feel is home that you're happy with, I see no reason to change that. Exactly. Although some of them have become kind of ghost towns, so that would be the only downside. Neo, unfortunately, we still don't have any details uh, for what uh, Premium Plus is going to be, so your guess is as good as ours for for the time being. Although, believe me, I made a ton of suggestions way back when we first started the whole idea.
<laughs> nice, Karen. I did suggest that uh, Premium Plus uh, one should get two Linden homes so you can have your Victorian home and your beach house, but, you know, I don't think that's going to happen. Too true, Ember. Your friend wouldn't work for Arena Net, would they? Where they take, you know, decades to do anything? <laughs> you Neo, know, are those blown out or are they just, you know, extra roomy? Breezy homes. I mean, there's a whole song about how happy you are with a room without a roof. You're providing a whole room with a whole home without one. Linden Estate Services has uh, several areas that you can fly from the uh, above and get into it. I love playing Horizons 2, Ember. I kept getting stuck and, you know, destroying my mouse, so I had to step back. I'm addicted to War Tales. Nice speed running that. play that if I can't figure it out in the 10 minutes I'm going on IGN looking for a walkthrough then if the walkthrough doesn't make sense I'm playing something else
Yes, they've definitely ramped up their game, Pantera, with all the different nuances that they put around. I really love it. Well, that it's is our that time. time. Jinx. Oh, jinx. <laughs> Have an amazing few weeks, and we'll see you next month, everybody. Oh, Ember, you don't have ours yet? Duck and cover. Take care, all. Have a great day. Have a good one, everyone. See you next month. Ember, I'm also sending you the land team mini, so that way you've got it also.